camera that can break apart into three different pieces, snap back together into different configurations, is a camera that was designed with vlogging in mind, allowing you to film yourself and be your own cameraman. This is the Insta360 1R 4K mod, and as we near the end of 2020, it still stands as one of the top three best action cameras to use for vlogging. Being able to have your camera and your screen on the same side, Insta360 designed this with vlogging in mind. Insta360 even makes a mounting bracket that has an additional cold shoe mount on top so that you can attach an external microphone to your camera right here. To hook up our microphone, we are gonna need one additional accessory, which is this little USB-C to audio jack adapter. This will plug in the side, and then we can plug our mic into that. Now we've got a professional microphone set up on top of our Insta360. This is the Rode Video Micro that I have mounted on top right now, but I'm curious to see how much better the audio quality actually is when using a professional mic. Now I know that the microphone hardware-wise is better than the one in the camera, but that doesn't necessarily mean that on playback of the video footage, it's gonna sound that much better, depending on the hardware, the different amps in the camera, if it's putting any digital filters on it, just how it's processing the audio from the mic. The professional microphone might not sound as professional as it should, and hopefully this test will help you guys decide for yourselves whether or not you like this type of setup, whether the audio quality is boosted enough that you'd be willing to spend the extra cash and also lug around the extra gear for this particular camera setup. Here we are with the first test. This is with the Rode Video micro plugged into my DSLR Canon 60 Mark II and this test is so that you can hear the microphone sounding basically as good as it's ever going to sound. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Insta360 1R 4K edition and this does not have the Rode video micro plugged in. So this audio quality is what you're going to hear if you just have the camera the built-in microphone on the camera. Now we're listening to the Rode Video Micro plugged into the Insta360 1R 4K mod with the Rode Video Microphone, without the Rode Video Microphone. Rode Mic on Canon 60 Mark II, Rode Mic on Insta360 without the microphone on the Insta360. Another thing I like to do when I'm testing microphones is play my guitar a little bit because the guitar has higher and lower range than my voice does. So you're gonna be able to hear the dynamic range of the microphones uh, better when I'm playing an instrument than when I'm just kind of sitting here talking. In order for this test to be as accurate as possible, I'm actually recording simultaneously on two Insta360s. One has a mic, one doesn't. This is without the external microphone. This is with the external microphone. Wow, okay, hopefully this video will save you a lot of money if you were thinking about purchasing this setup to have an external mic on your Insta360 because as far as I can tell, when you plug in an external mic, the sound quality actually drops and it sounds better just recording with the internal microphone on the Insta360. Again, I just wanna say it's not because this is a bad external microphone. I use this mic all the time on my DSLR. It sounds great, but we plug that into the Insta360 and the Insta360 just isn't handling the input from that microphone very well. It seems like it's recording a bit higher volume with the external mic, but then there's all of this new background noise that's introduced. So like I said, I think it sounds better just using the internal mic on the Insta360 and that will save you a lot of money not purchasing all of this extra gear. The cage that has a cold shoe mount on it is $30. The USB-C to audio adapter is $10. And then for a microphone, we're looking around like $60. So that's $100 down the drain because when you use an external mic, it just makes the sound quality worse than before. But nonetheless, this is still one of the best vlogging cameras out there, uh, among action cameras that is. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you want an Insta360 camera, there's links in the description below. If you wanna learn more about the Insta360 camera, watch these videos right here, and I will see you guys next time.